Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell happened yesterday? We had a Wednesday episode, and you started it out saying Tuesday. Well, maybe you didn't read the beginning words, because I had to re-edit the damn thing to get it to go out. We're back to normal now, though. Happy Thursday. And here's kind of what happened, because I've never... I've been on this platform for going on 11 years now, and I have no idea what the heck it was. Basically, I uploaded the video, like normal, and then when I checked on it after it should have been done, it hit 95% processing, which means that something happened on YouTube's end. And I don't know what it was. All I know is that it failed, and there's basically nothing I could do about it. Yes, I know, you need milk. So, I am sorry that I actually finally missed it. So I'm sorry that I missed a day. I did not intend to miss a day. I was thinking maybe I should just go ahead and scrap the Tuesday episode and post it on the weekend. I opted to just go ahead and have a day off because I didn't get home until nine o'clock ish and I wasn't ready to start editing until 10. And I was just like, nah, now nah, we'll go ahead and save the news stories and stuff like that for tomorrow. So. Let's go ahead and get in to this episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the Fat and Happy Show. Come on in, take off your pants, and have yourself a bowl of cereal where you are getting worse. Also, he didn't get his milk yesterday, so I feel bad for him. I feel bad. Try to give him a little more. We'll give him a little bit more than normal. Just a little splash more because he didn't get it yesterday. But welcome back to a terrific Thursday episode of the Vat and Happy Show. We're going to have a little bit of ups and downs today. Um, pretty sad, bad news today. Um, but we'll go ahead and get into the holidays for today first. Where today is Cheesecake Day. And not only Cheesecake Day, but Chili Dog Day too. Beyond that is the International Day of Friendship. So if you have a best friend... Share a hug with them, because today is Share a Hug Day too. And here is the weird holiday for today. It's National Whistleblower Appreciation Day, which is, I think, ironic, because it's a national holiday, and usually the nation hates whistleblowers. Whatever. I don't know. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. But now for the bad news of today, where this bad news did not happen today. It actually, by the time it airs, happened two days ago. A 14-year-old Baltimore Orioles fan named Mo Gabba ended up passing away at an oddly weird time. The Baltimore Orioles were very, very fond of this kid, and this kid was like a major part of this team. He was battling cancer, and he was not doing too good. And um, he actually, I believe, beat it once, but it came back. A lot of the players looked up to this kid as an inspiration for... All, the, all that he was going through, especially for being only 14 years old. He kept his head held high throughout his years, and he made the most of life the best way that he could. Unfortunately, on Tuesday, Mo Gabba passed away. And this was about four hours after the Baltimore Orioles inducted him into their team's Hall of Fame, which I found to be so odd. Not the fact that they put him in his Hall of Fame. That was a great honor, and that was awesome of them to do. But the fact that he passed away four to five hours after being told that he was in the Hall of Fame. It's almost as if he was like, I can die happy now. I accomplished the main thing that I wanted to have happen. So, I got really emotional reading the story. I would never heard of him. The Baltimore Orioles aren't that great of a team, so I don't pay attention to them. But just this kid's story, it was heartbreaking to hear all that he did and his positive outlook in life, even though things were so bad for him. So rest in peace, Mo, and uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the family. But now for some good news of today, let's go ahead and get back on the high rise. Okay, let's go back up that roller coaster, okay, just so we can fall back down. Today... Down in New Orleans, a music teacher ended up doing a new campaign. And this campaign is called 
Trumpet is my weapon. And the objective of this is, bring me a gun, I'll give you a trumpet. Basically saying that music is better than violence. And I think it is a great thing. I love the idea of this. Except for one thing. I almost bet you anything the trumpets are more expensive than the guns. So how many people will go give him a trump or give him a gun and then use the money from the trumpet to go buy another gun and have some spending money left over? That's potential. I don't know if that could happen, but that's what I'm kind of thinking could happen. So with that, I hope that everything is going good and I hope that things are pure. He has a donation thing linked up so that way he can get some more trumpets because he only had four on hand. And he got rid of those very, very quickly. So it'll be interesting to see how things go with New Orleans if we have a little bit less violence and a little bit more trumpet playing. Would you need more? I think he wants more. I gave you an extra splash. Did you still? That's still not enough? Damn. That boy be thirsty. Thirsty Thursday. But now let's go ahead and get into that dad joke of today where it is just a simple question. Now... A quick disclaimer for those who don't know vampires that well. Vampires don't age. They don't. Whenever you become a vampire, you are paused at that age. Okay, just quick disclaimer really quick. Because otherwise, if you don't understand that, you don't understand the joke. So where do college-aged vampires shop? Places that suck. Forever 21. Called it. I'm just saying. They ain't going to Hollister or The Gap. No, no, no. They're going to Forever 21, babe. Not that I would ever shop there. And now into the pet photo of the day where we got the Bailey series part two still going on. Where we have another ducky named Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your feathers for a pillow. Seriously, down feather pillows are just comfy as hell. I love down feather pillows. But alas, that takes us into, of course, the two cents moment of the day. Now is the part of the show where Kyle gives his two cents. Taking risks. Taking risks is something that not a lot of people, I think, want to do. There once was a man named Evil Knievel who only took risks in his life and eventually cost him his own life. But, alas, maybe, just maybe, we should take that leap of faith on occasion and do some risks. Don't do anything too risky. But, what's wrong with a little bit of a gamble? Playing the lottery is nothing but taking a risk. You put some money down, maybe you get some money back. But, there's no guarantee either way. It's just like asking a girl out. You never know what her response might be. But, you gotta risk it. If you want to try it. It's just like sushi. It's risky. You don't know how old that sushi is and how it'll sit in your stomach. But it could be good and you could be fine. But do you want to risk it? So next time you are in a risky situation where you're not sure what the outcome might be, maybe take the leap and maybe you'll play it safe. But if you take a risk, there might be a reward. Just like I took a risk on an online auction. And I'd never done an online auction before. I found it to be kind of weird. But I'm addicted and love it now. And what it was was a restaurant in a nearby city ended up closing down. And they, like, sold a lot of stuff to raise some money. Because I think they're wanting to move locations. And what it was is I had a bunch of things that I was like, yeah, I kind of want to try it and see if I can get it. But I wasn't sure of the quality, the size, I wasn't sure of anything because I can't physically just be there to see it. There's no pre-showing with the COVID thing. So it was very much, here's your pictures, here's a brief description that was like five words max. Which is usually just the title of what it was, just brief pasted down there. And just basically a slap on the wrist saying, good luck. And I did really, really well, not gonna lie. I got a silverware set that's like worth 60 bucks. I only paid like four for it. 
I got some pumpkins that I need to check the price of, but they're like really cute for Halloween. I got a Red Bull mini fridge over there. It gets cool. I ordered, had to order a new light bulb for it, but big whoop. But the main thing I got, I'll put a picture this side, right? I think it's this side. Is it that side? It might be that side. I'll put a picture somewhere. I think it's over here of the Jim Beam uh, shadow box that I got. And it lights up. It's so pretty. But it wasn't even said that it lit up. I just noticed a little outlet on the side and I was like, I think I got an adapter for that. And sure enough, I found an adapter plugged it in, lit up, and it's nice and pretty. And that was probably the best snag I've ever gotten at an auction. The bad thing is, is I can't figure out how much it's worth because there's no information about it online. So I don't even know where the origin is except for Jim Beam. So, but I took a risk with something and it paid off pretty well. I was absolutely satisfied with everything I got. But you got to take that risk. Because you may be like, I have the picture showing me this, the words are saying that, but is it really exactly what I'm after? And I imagine some people probably went home from that auction going, oh, well, shit. But anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Sorry again, Tuesday and Wednesday were screwed up. There was some out of my control. We'll be back to normal today, Friday, and we'll see where I land with the stats, because I think... Tomorrow I was supposed to decide um, if I'm going to continue the show or not. So we'll just we'll wait and see what's going to happen. Um, right now the stats still aren't where I want them to be. But we'll see. But that's going to do it for today's episode though. You guys, thank you very much for staying, sticking around. And for everyone who has given me so many polite words over the show, I really do appreciate it. I'm glad that people enjoy. But that's going to do it for today. I will see you guys back here. For tomorrow's episode, a good night.